What's up, everybody? It's me, King Alpha. Hope everybody's doing great. So, brand new best loadout video. Um, this was honestly the hardest one. Um, and it's one of the ugliest type of guns for some reason. I love the gun, but the skins on it just don't work. But <laughs> anyways, I'm talking about the Scar L, um, or the Scar H. This is the Scar H, not the Scar L. But my goodness, guys, this gun was a pain when i was when i tell you guys i tried almost everything i tried all the attachments it's maxed out at 65 there was like i tried everything when it comes to all three of these attachments all almost all of these switching around the four grips leaving the ammo but then switching around this the stocks were oh my god the stocks were horrible i couldn't figure it out i finally got a good class and you'll see in the gameplay the, the gun works well. I will say this with the scar. You cannot move and sway as much as you can with the M4, the Kilo, the M13, etc. This gun is meant for you to actually shoot down a corridor and kind of stay put in a way. It's like you can't really move with it. You can move a little bit, but not as much as other guns. Especially like... This is right behind, I mean, this is right ahead, like, of the AK, where the AK, sometimes you have to stay still when you're shooting and stuff. It's kind of like that. Um, however, I found a good class. It works. It was a pain. When I tell you guys I was going negative, I, no, I didn't go negative, but it was just very hard. It was very hard. But anyways, I have the Forge TAC-20 um, LB. The damage uh, range gets increased. Bullet velocity, recoil control. You do you do lose aim down sight speed and movement speed. Um, you come over here, commando foregrip. You got recoil stabilization, aiming stability, uh, which is very good. I I, I found this one better than all of the other grips, and it just works perfectly with the class in general. Um, come over here. You got 30 rounds for mags. Um, you know, I wish they had some other option as well for this. Maybe increase the fire rate. The fire rate, I think, on the scar is what really kills it sometimes. Um, you come over here. I got the stippled grip tape. Uh, you got the sprint to fire speed and the aim down sight speed, so that helps out a lot. Aim stability. So this is where sometimes you do lose control of the gun at times. However, the other attachments will help out with that. Um, then you come over here and you have the close quarters stock. You got the aim down sight speed and the aiming stability. Now, you're probably wondering, I think the stocks were one of my hardest, uh, just the hardest ones to use because I was like, okay, movement speed, aim down sight speed. But then you lose recoil control and aiming stability. Then you come over here, you're like, oh, aiming stability, but aiming walking movement speed? Holy crap, you cannot lose that. Like, if you try and lose any bit of aiming walking movement speed on the scar, it's going to be a pain to use. And in, of course, in up close quarter battles, Close quarter battles, oh my, oh, and oh. So this close quarters stock really works well. It keeps the gun steady. You'll see in the gameplay, um, I can even shoot people from far. I can shoot people um, up close. It's all dependent once you get used to the actual guns and the, well, the actual gun and its attachments on it, then it'll work. For some reason, I do think they need to fix the scar though, because it has all of these, like if you put any type of camo, like, usually the Red Tiger looks like a great camo, but all of it looks like ripped up tape, like ripped up paint on it. And it kind of sucks because these are really good skins and it doesn't even look good on, on my scar, you know? So I had to I put this, um, this camo on, but any camo with like some type of color on it or anything just doesn't make the gun actually this actually doesn't look too bad right there <laughs> um but yeah this is the best class for the scar in my opinion i got the strella as my secondary you guys already know that i love to actually be able to shoot um you can even shoot claymores you can shoot campers inside a, a little building or something like that this helps out a lot eod ghost tune-up um and c4 i love my c4 and i got the stun grenade stun grenade's been working really decent for me but um c4 oh my goodness once you really get used to the c4 you can really do some damage but this is one of my favorite classes with the scar um you know hopefully this actually helps you out it does look really good though like the picture itself looks really cool but man if you guys can find a better loadout for me then that would be crazy but this was one of the best ones that i could find honestly um i'll see you guys next time deuces i hope you um just enjoy the rest of the gameplay 
But man, the Scar was probably the toughest class I could try and figure out. It was just crazy. I'll see you guys. Peace. So bright, it's hard to breathe, but that's alright.